Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'll show you how I make my spaghetti bolognese. Um, this is one of the favorite recipe that I like to use. It's a free on a plan and it comes from this family feast on a budget book. And some of the ingredients because I like to batch cook so I uh, I buy instead of uh, in here it says 500 gram lean mince but I buy the 750 so I need to double up some of the ingredients and some of them I don't use so I don't use the chopped tomatoes I substitute that for passata and then I also add a celery sticks to mine as well so let me just so basically I follow the ingredients but I slightly tweak them so let me just show you what you're gonna need and these are the ingredients that I use so you will need 750 grams of lean mince so it's the beef one and a 5% fat is a free on a plan and that's a protein rich food then I've got spices here I've got cinnamon basil and then it's asked for a dry chili, but because I haven't got chili, so I'm using this spicy paprika. Then two medium sized onions, three cloves of garlic. Then I've got the 500 gram of spaghetti, a little bit of uh, granulated sweetener. Then tomato puree, two passatas, the 500 ml. Then fry light, two carrots and two celery sticks so the carrots celery stick passata uh, tomato puree onion and garlic it's all speed food and a spaghetti is a free food now you can see i've chopped up all my vegetables so on one plate i've got um, onion and crushed garlic which i'll do first and then um carrot and celery stick is on the other plate because that's what I will add afterwards so now I'll take my fry light and then I spray oh it's new so let me just spray some yeah I'll spray some at the bottom of the pan oh no oh let me just get the gas going Okay, now the fried light looks a little bit melted and in the meantime I'm heating up the water here for my spaghetti, so that's... And then I'll add the onion and garlic. Let me just add that. So the onion and garlic is in the pan and I'm going to add one teaspoon of the uh, dry, well it's supposed to be dry chilli flavour. I'm adding the spicy paprika. And I'm going to give that a stir until the onion has softened a little. Now the onion has softened, I'm going to add one teaspoon of a cinnamon and two teaspoons of a basil. So that's a one teaspoon here and that's the other one here. And then I'm going to give it a stir. Now I'll add the beef and then I'm going to stir it in and then wait until it's all browned. Now I'll also add the carrot and a celery stick to it. forgot to say that earlier. And then I'll brown it. Well, wait till the meat is all brown. And then I'll come back to you. And the water for the spaghetti has just came to a boil so add a bit of a salt and I'm going to add the whole 500 gram of spaghetti I'm just going to wait until they bend a little And in the meantime the meat is browning up nicely in here so let me just give that a stir and then I'll add the passata and the tomato puree so I gave it a stir and I'm gonna add two of the tomato 
I might not two of the pizzas. Just both of them. And then I, the rest of it I tend to rinse it with a bit of water. So let me just do that. I just added a bit of water and and then I'm just gonna pour that in. So it's nice and clean. Uh, I do the same with the other one. That's all in here and I'm going to add about half of that tomato puree in it. So just give that a good squeeze. So let me just get both of the hands and squeeze it all in. So the half of the puree is in and then I'll give that one a good mix. And then in the meantime, the pasta is boiling, so yeah, it can be nicely bended. Ooh, let me just take down the gas and use both hands to get it into a pan. So the pasta is nicely simmering away, so I'll just cook that according to the package, which I think it's about eight minutes. And then I stir that one in. And then I add the lid on top and then cook that for about 20 minutes. Also I'm cooking some green beans over here in a little bit of water. So it's just frozen green beans and I add them to boiling water. So I cook them for oh, that's nice so funny. And I like to add them on the plate as add a bit more speed to a plate. So the spaghetti has been drained, uh, green beans has also been drained so that's ready to go and then this one will be cooking for another five more minutes so I'm going to give it a last stir. And let me just give that a last good mix and cook it for another five minutes and then I'll dish it up. And now just before I'm going to serve it, I'm just going to add um, one teaspoon of a granulated sweetener and then give that a good stir just to get the sharpness from the tomatoes away. So let me just stir that in. So this is the finer plate, so that's what it looks like. Once it's been dished up, so we've got spaghetti, bolognese sauce and one third of a plate is a speed food, so that's what the green beans are for. And there is plenty of the sauce left. There is some green beans here and loads of spaghetti, so I'm going to um, do one portion for my husband and whatever is left over, I'm going to have leftovers tomorrow and rest of it I'm going to freeze it to have it for another day.